Alrighty, guys. Madman Mandela come at you live from the Garden of Rock here in beautiful Alabama. Alright. Okay, here's, here's the way woo. <laughs> okay, here's, this gentleman purchased, uh, purchased the console. It's, uh, it, his, his nickname is CRME6821. I have no idea what that means. But anyway, when he purchased the console, he wanted a 2 terabytes. So I was like, alright. So we shoved a 2 terabyte uh, Seagate Barracuda drive in there. We got an ASV3 in it. And it's up on the line of servers, along with the 10-day trial of the Purge, uh, BO2, MW3, and Ghost All Post, as well as Jiggy for BO2 and Sentinel for Zombies. All right? And, uh, you know, HV3, typical standard Trinity model. All right? We're going to go ahead. We're going to kick it in the ass right now. I'm going to grab all the control. Hey, Sean, how are you, man? Uh, going pretty good, bro. i got three live streams i got to do. <laughs> I did three consoles today. <laughs> One was a, this one was a 2 terabyte, the other one was a 500, and the other one is a, is a uh, 250. So, I've been busy, okay? I'm still busy. I'm still, still, I'm still ripping my hair out. Anyway, we're booting up in the FSD dash, gonna get some notifications from the server, letting us know it's online, live, and all that other happy nonsense as you can see. Alright, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll through this thing, I'm gonna show you what you got in this thing. And this is two full terabytes, okay? So, Okay, under emulators, okay, you got the big three, you got Genesis Plus 360, SNES 360, and main, alright? There's over 7,000 ROMs combined for these things, okay? So, if you're into stand-up arcade games, old school, all that kind of good stuff, well, there you go. Alright, now, Xbox Classic Games, yes, there is a World Window Classic Games on there as well, okay? Good for you. And then, of course, we have our homebrew section, this is where the tools reside, where you can blow the console up, alright? Now, of course, we have Xbox Live Arcade. There is a mind-boggling amount of arcade games on there, as you can see, a load, and then some. And then, of course, we have our regular Xbox 360 games, okay? All the games that we know, love, and love to play, and mod, and do all kinds of evil things to one another, okay? So, as you can see, we start off with Advanced Warfare, and we'll work our way through. Yeah, we're still going. There we go. We're still going. We're still going. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Still going. Here we go. Yeah. And, uh, let's see here. Yeah. And there you are. <laughs> Where we started, okay? So if that don't keep you busy, I don't know what will. Alright, now, to get to the original dashboard, go to your homebrew section right here. Go to Xbox 360 dashboard. Match the A button. Match it one more time. That will take you to the original dash. And as you can see, hello again, CRME 68. You're on Alliance Live. Welcome to Alliance Live. You can only have 30 reserve days left. Got it good. Okay? Now, we'll bypass the sign in. You will see that you're up, you're online, you are live. Our beautiful eyeball pleasing HUD. Over in our fifth tab, we have our BO2 cheats, ghost cheats, and modern warfare. Three cheats, okay? To disable them, hit A. To enable them, hit A. Real easy, okay? Now, to get back to everything, yeah, just smash A button, Xbox Home, that will take you back. Alright, now I will go ahead and I will demonstrate one of the offposts for you. I'm going to do ghost because it's uh, a little easier, okay? So. Because I've done BO2, I've done zombies, so everybody's seen that, so let's do, let's do a little ghosts, okay? Now, okay, <clears throat> all of the off, well, wait a minute, first let me sign in, alright, here we go. Yep, there we go. Okay, good, there we are. Okay, now, look, all of the off posts are the same, D-pad left to open the off post, X to select, B to back out, D-pad left to close the off post, okay? That goes across for MW3, okay, Ghosts, and, uh, of course, um, you know, BO2. Now, as for BO2, the menu, uh, there's two menus that come with that. It's Jiggy. Holding left trigger, push down the right thumbstick, A to select, X to back out. All right, and then Sentinel, all right, which is for zombies. Holding left trigger, push down the right thumbstick, the menu will open, okay, X to select. Um, and then holding the left trigger, push down the right thumbstick, to back out. Okay, and that includes the submenus as well, all right? So now... All right, we'll tell you what, we'll go through uh, ghosts here. Hang on. Let me get over to ghosts. Oh, my God. There we go. Where the heck? Okay, where is it? I know it's got to be around here somewhere. No, I passed it. That's what I did. Yep. Let me see here. Yep, and we don't need two copies of this. So we will just move this out of the way. There we go. Good. Okay. So let's see here, Call of Duty, yeah, it's up in here somewhere, yep, there it is, okay, so we'll select Ghost, there you go, there's way too much crap on this damn thing, I'm telling you right now, okay, now, uh, alright, now we'll hit it, okay, there's no special way to open it, okay, you don't have to go to 
multi-dashery. You don't have to go to the uh, to the folder or anything like that and use the full multiplayer and all that crap. You just open it right from here. Okay. So anyway, we'll start the game. Okay. Start to continue. All right, and then we'll set this up here a little bit. There we go. All right, we'll bring this out. There you go. Okay, and we'll go to multiplayer right away. Continue the multiplayer. Okay. Now this is just a simple off post. I mean, it's nothing right on the line about, but it works and it works really good. Okay, so we'll go to local play. All right, hit A. And what we'll do is we will gain the setup. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. All right, standard mode, free for all. Back it out. Bots, we we'll use. There we go, 11. And we'll start the match. You know, like I said, D pad left to open the menu, X to select, B to back out. D pad left to close the menu. Okay? So we're going to load up, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to set up the menu options. Okay? So just bear with me here as this thing loads. There we are. Grab a gun. D pad left. X to select. Okay? Now we're going to turn the aimbot on. We'll be visible. Okay? And uh, let's see here now. We're back out of there. ESP. Turn that on. Put pyramids around them. All this crap. Yeah, I got shot in there. Okay. And we're we'll back out of there. No recoil, advanced UAV, no sway, visible. There we go. Okay? Now we'll back out. There we are. D-pad left. And when it turns blue, let him have it right in the freaking head. Okay? Looks pretty good. Like I said. There we go. Come on now. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There we go. Yep. Yep. There we go. Yeah, we'll load that back up. We'll run through the jungle a little bit. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Like I said, when it turns blue... Oh shit. Here we go. Enemy satcom spotted. Guard dog ready. Okay. And as you can see, the off post really does help you. A whole bunch. And there's some. Oh, they're running away. Why are you running away? What are you doing, eh? Right in the face, eh? Huh? You like that? Hang on a minute. Here. Let me run up here. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we have here. I know there's got to be someone here. Oh, I heard a scream. Wait a minute. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Long shot. Mm -hmm. Another another head shot. <laughs> yes. Aimbots make it so easy. Oh! And grenades and, 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 and planted mines also work real good, too. Okay? So anyway, as you can see, there you go, there's your off post, alright? Now, bring that out. Yep. Okay. Josh, what's up, man? Oh, sure, Josh, no problem. Um, in fact, uh, yeah, just hang loose, man. Let me get this video done, and then we can, uh, I'll go ahead and we'll get, we'll get you taken care of. Alright, so anyway, there you are, alright, and there's your, there's your off post and all that kind of good stuff, okay? Now, alright. That's just one of the menus. Uh, purge menu. You, um, when you when you start up when you start up GTA 5, purge will just pop up, and all you gotta do is follow the on-screen instructions, and off you go. And you know, I mean, you do anything you want with that menu. That thing is crazy. All right. Now, okay. Now I showed you that and everything. Let me show you real quick, okay, how to get this thing on the network for the first time. All right, because this is very very important. And um, what will happen is if I don't tell you how to do this, it's gonna be a mess. All right. Um, also one other thing. You have multi dash multi dashboard on this thing. Let me show you that real quick. Alright, we'll go to the homebrew section right here. The dash launch, hit it. Okay, and now it'll bring up dash launch and you'll see your paths, okay? Now default it'll boot up into freestyle dash. If you hit button B, that'll boot into FX menu. If you hit button Y, it'll boot up into the stock menu. And if you hit left bumper, which is down here, okay, it will boot up into Aurora. You have to hit those buttons while the system is booting and you get to the Xbox logo. Once you hit the button, hold it down, and it should launch into that into that dashboard. Okay. Now, if you want to change the default, like to Aurora. Okay. Let's say you don't like uh, you don't like freestyle dash. Okay. Well, it's real easy. Hit A. All right. Hit A again to back out. Then go to the Aurora folder. Go down to Aurora XCX. And it's that simple. Then all you got to do is just hit RB. Bring it down to HDD. Hit X to save it. Beat it back out. It's going to reboot, and then it's going to reboot into Aurora. Aurora is already set up. Everything is already set up. You don't have to do a damn thing. All you got to do is play the stupid games. That's it. Okay, life is good. I already set it up for you. It's all done. See? Now, as you can see, there you are. We're in the show all. Okay? 
as you can see. Now, we hit RB. All right. We'll move, the, we'll move it with the D-pad. Here's Xbox 360. Hit A. All right, it'll bring up your Xbox 360 cache, okay? There we are. And there is all your Xbox 360 games. RB again, bring it over. Xbox Live Arcade. Here's your arcade games. Your homebrew section. Your classic games. Your indie games. And back to show off. All right, now we hit the back button. It'll bring up a little context menu right here for your file manager to copy stuff over and all that kind of good stuff. Skip, restart, reboot, shut down. All right, hit the start button. Well, your assets, your profile, your content with your paths that are already set up and everything. You don't have to worry about that. Modules, language, security, and about. Okay, now we're going to bring this back up with you because that's the way I, that I ship them. So we'll tell you what. We'll go ahead, we'll hit RB. We'll go on over to the homebrew section. And then what we'll do, we'll go to Dash Launch, we'll hit that. Alright, and then we'll go back to Paths right here. And we'll go to Default. We'll hit that. And we'll bring it We'll bring it back to the root folder. We'll go down to Freestyle Dash. And then we'll use the default.xcx. See, puts it right back up. Hit RB, bring it down to HDD. X to save it, feed it back out. There you go. Alright, and then we'll run FSD. Okay? Real easy. Thank God. <laughs> I would think anyway. Okay? So, as you can see, there you are. You're back at the dream team. Life is grand. All right. Now, look. There's a certain way you have to start this up for the first time on your network. Okay. To get it on your network. If it's a one-shot deal. You only got to do it once. Okay. I mean, unless you leave to a friend's house or something, you got to do it on his network. And then when you get back home, you got to do it back on your network. Okay. So, it's very, very easy. Okay. And what I'm, what I'm going to have you do is, is when you get the crazy thing, don't just boot it up and run out of the box, right? Because it ain't going to do it. Okay. What you got to do. Open the drive door, pull the hard drive out, place it up on top, now boot the console, okay? Now when the console boots, you're going to come to the Xbox 360 Blackboard screen, okay? Now, once you get to the Blackboard screen, we're going to do some maneuvering, okay? And uh, we're going to go to uh, system, we're going to go to network settings, okay? So you're going to come up to the screen here, any second now. There we are. All right, now, what you're going to do, you're going to go up, over, bring it to settings, bring it to system, okay? Go to network settings, all right? And, of course, my router's already popped up. Now, you're, now it's going to search, and it's going to find your router. When it does click on it, put the password in, okay? Select your router, just like that, and it's going to automatically test your connection. I have to do mine manually because it's already hooked up. You're going to get a check mark on two red X's, okay? There you go. All right, now, the only one that we really care about, I don't care what these two do, that's the only one that you care about. Because you got to get the Xbox 360 to your router. If you can get to the router, you can get to the internet, which means you can get the Xbox Live. So, as long as you got green dots going to here, you got a check mark there, you're good. Okay, if you don't, then you better check your router and you better make sure that it's letting the Xbox online. Because otherwise, you will not get to nothing. Okay? So make sure that you get that check mark. Alright? After that check mark comes up and everything, power the console off. Then what I want you to do... Plug the hard drive back in, you'll see it with a click, you'll feel it. Okay, and then put the drive tray on. Alright, then pull the power, leave this out for five minutes. Do not just plug it in and go. You will wind up with DNS errors all over the place. You'll act like it's connected, it's not connected. You'll try to get the Xbox Live, that won't work. You'll be ripping your hair out, you'll be messaging me, cursing and swearing at me. And I'm going to say, did you pull the power cord? And you're going to say no, and I'm going to slap you. Alright, so, pull the power cord, leave it sit, five minutes. Period. Okay? You've got to flush the buffers. Alright, once that's done, then you can plug it back in. And the only reason why I can plug it back in right now is because it's on my network. And sometimes this backfires on me, and it still disconnects from Xbox Live. Okay? So, it's pot lock. What am I going to tell you? Alright, so after that, plug it back in, everything else, power it on. Okay? Simple. Now, when the system boots, okay, which it will, let me select this, uh, yeah, let me see about this controller right here. Okay. Alright, unless my video fried like it normally does, all the time, pull this out, and plug this back in now. Okay, now let's see if that fixed it. <laughs> because this monitor acts like an idiot, half the time, okay? I have people who can say it to me, like, Tony, when are you going to get rid of that thing? When I move this whole entire desk out, okay? Now, alright, it's going to boot up. Now, what's going to happen is, 
is you're going to see the screen stuff stop moving. When it does, that means it's locked on the server. Then you're going to get some notifications from the plugins, okay, letting you know that it's hooked up, okay? Now, she locked up. You can hear the fan speed kick up. There it goes. Here comes your notification. There you go. Welcome to Alliance. And we're going to get one more, which is a good sign. This is going to be coming from Purge, letting you know that you're off on it, all right? Now, what's going to happen is now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to stroll on over to the homebrew section. And then what we're going to do, there you are. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the original dashboard. Click on it. Boom. Okay? Hopefully a square will pop up or it will pop up and you will be on live. Hopefully. We'll see. Nope. It did the thing. And like I said, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. It disconnected me from Xbox Live. Son of a... <laughs> dirty rotten mother. <laughs> see? That's what I'm saying. Leave that plug out for five minutes. Okay? And this is on my own network, so you tell me. Okay? So anyway. Yeah. Now. Okay. Normally what you would do, you would go over here and you would download the profile, okay? Now when you download the profile, if you have an existing Xbox Live profile, download it, okay? If you do not, go to xboxlive.com slash live, okay? Make your profile with the credentials, alright? Uh, using Outlook, alright? Then come back here and download the profile, okay? Now, when you download the profile, okay? It's going to download, and then what I want you to do, well, I'm going to do, I'm going to do system here, like this, okay, and I'm going to, yeah, let me test the Xbox Live connection, let me see what it does here, this is going to be funny, okay, because it's going to say, it's going to say, it's going to tell me, no, that the DNS has got an error in it, in which I know it does, so, you know, but anyway, uh, what would happen is, is you would be hooked to Xbox Live, plain and simple, alright, and unfortunately, though, now it's going to test the internet, here we go, let's see what happens, Microsoft not playing nice with me. Yep, it ain't gonna go. Nope, it's not gonna go. Okay, so what I'm what, what's happening is that is it got a DNS error? Okay, and I'm gonna show you exactly w what's gonna happen when when you click the button that says, "Oh, take a look at this." Okay, just to show you because this is what you'll get if you do not leave that plug out for five minutes. <laughs> Sometimes I need to take my own advice. Okay, now. She's like, there's a problem with your connection. Yes, live connection. Unplug the power from the router or your remote for five minutes. Reconnect the power and wait another 60 seconds. No, just unplug the Xbox from the back, okay? And leave it sit for five minutes, okay? And it'll be fine, okay? So anyway, okay? So there you are. All right, now look, okay? In the event, you download your profile, okay? And it downloads, and you're just going to say, welcome to Xbox Live, and all that other happy nonsense, okay? Which is cool. All right, that's all well and fine and dandy, okay? If it does not, okay? Let's say you download your profile and you're sitting here for 15 minutes and it's driving you crazy and it didn't download right. Well, that's another little Microsoft error that happens, okay? So what you got to do is you back out of where you're downloading your profile from. Come up here, go over settings, go to system. Whoop. Go to system, all right? And then what you're going to do, you're going to go to storage. Then you're going to hit the storage, okay? You're going to go to profiles, all right? Now, as you can see, there's profiles there. Well, the profile that you download is going to be underneath here. I want you to select it. And what I want you to do, I want you to delete it right off the hard drive, okay? So you're going to hit A and delete it, all right? Then, what's going to happen is once you delete it, back out of here, then back out of here. Leave that highlighted. Hit Y. And then we're going to clear the system cache. We're going to do it twice because Microsoft has this thing of leaving stuff behind even though you do clear the system cache. So you got to do it twice, okay? And here we go. Clear the system cache. Boom. Yes. And there you are. All right, then back out of here, back out of here, run up over here, go to social, go to sign in, sign out, okay, and then download your profile and it should be fine. All right, now, once you download your profile and everything else, then what I want you to do is I want you to hit the guide button, go back to Xbox Home. All right, now, what you're going to do is you're going to unlock all the content on this hard drive, okay, to your profile. You've got to do it with your profile signed in. The only reason why I didn't sign in was because it would take forever for me to sign in with this stupid thing because of the uh, live connection error, okay? So, what you're going to do is after you've got your profile signed in, you come back here and go to homebrew section right here, okay? Then, click on XM360, all right? Now, XM360 is an unlock tool, all right? You can have all the content in the world on your hard drive, all right? But if it's not opened or unlocked, you cannot use it. Therefore, it will make you download all kinds of crazy stuff and everything else and download it to the hard drive, even though you have it already, and that'll be the only way to unlock it, okay? Well, this is another way to unlock it. Now, it takes a little bit because it's actually scanning through the entire hard drive, okay? And there you are. There's your XBLA. So, what you're going to do is, is once you get the screen, go over to the left, 
go to unlock XBLA, hit it, okay? Now, of course, there's already, it's already been unlocked, so life is good, all right? Now we'll back out of there, okay? Now we're going to go to Sure DLC. Now it's going to take it a minute. There you go. There's all your DLC, okay? Now what you're going to do, unlock DLC, <clears throat> all right? Now this is what your profile logged in, okay? So you unlock 10 DLC files, okay? Very good. Now what that means is, as you dash, all right? What that means is, is now all the downloadable content and all the XBLA is available to your user profile, okay? That's why you unlock this stuff, okay? So, plain and simple, really easy, okay? Now, as far as emulators are concerned, okay? They all run. We'll use main for an example. We'll start it up. Yeah, it will start. No, of course not. It's not signed in. Ah, there we go. Good, okay. All right. So anyway, okay, here you go, and then of course you use your trigger, okay, you can go triggers page by page, okay, up and down, alright, use D-pad to go game by game, A to launch a game, follow the on-screen instructions, play the game, you like this grant. Now, once you're done with that, hit the guide button, go back to Xbox Home, really easy, and there you are, no green thing, okay, now, alright, as far as classic games are concerned, okay, you want to play some classic games, all right, like uh, these old ones from the original Xbox or whatever. Well, if you try to play it with the server on, what I mean by that is if you have this guide up, where it's modified, it says Alliance Live, all that crap, it's not going to let you play the game, okay? What's going to happen is, is this, okay? We're going to try to play the game, and you're going to get a black screen, all right? Ain't going to work, all right? So how do we fix this? We do it real easy, okay? This is what we do. We power the system off, and then what you're going to do, you're going to go ahead, you're going to power it on, you're going to hit the eject button, leave the tray hanging out until you reach FSD dash, okay? you got to leave the tray hanging out because we're putting it in bypass mode. We're bypassing the plugins on dash launch, all right? Really easy. Okay, now, we just booted, okay, life is good. And uh, once we get to FSD dash, which it's going to go, you're going to see that there's no plugins loaded, no nothing, okay? Now we can push the tray in, okay? Tray goes in. Hit the guide button. All right. And there we are. Okay. Now, you will notice when you hit the guide button now, you have pretty much a pretty clean, you know, guide right there. All right. Because the uh, Alliance XCX is not loaded. So now we can go over to Classic Games. Okay. We'll play a game. Boom. Now we'll get two logos. There you go. Flash and a flash. The game is going to load. There you are. Okay. And there's your original Xbox game. There you have it. Okay, and now we'll listen to this Hi, broad and, and screams about s uh, safety and all that. Shut up! Jesus. <laughs> okay. So anyway, and there you go. All right, now we get out of the game. Hit the guide button. Let's back home. Yes. That's it. There you go. So listen, brother. Thank you for your business. I greatly appreciate it. We'll be shipping it off on Tuesday because, of course, we have Labor Day weekend where... Monday, the post office is closed, unfortunately. So it'll be off on Tuesday, all right? You will have a tracking number before that. I greatly appreciate your business. Thank you very much, all right? And like I said, enjoy it. Have fun with it. If you need anything, just holler at me, okay? Usually I'm around. I will answer. If my head is in a console, I kind of like have to glance over and, you know, look at messaging and emails and all that crap, okay? But, you know, for the most part, I will answer you, all right? So listen, thanks again for your business. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, we're shipping off on Tuesday. You should have it within three days. All right. Thank you so much. Guys, you'll have a good one. I will holler at you later. Take it easy, man. And uh, listen, guys, I, this is one of three. So I got another one coming up in about five minutes or so. Anyway, you'll have a good one.